Hello YouTube, this is Roxy Firewife Lawyer Mom. Today, we're gonna talk all about summer. I've got some great hauls for you of things that I have gotten for our my kids for summer, to get rid of that summer slide, to entertain them during the summer, all the things. So if you want some ideas on things to get for summer, get ready, stay tuned. We've never been so close. Thank you for joining me today. This is Roxy, the Firewife Lawyer Mom, and I'm so happy that you have come to watch this video. If you are new here, welcome. I hope that my videos bless you. And if you are a subscriber and you've been watching me and joining me on my journey, thank you so much for watching. And if you love these videos, please remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I've got great videos coming up and I'm so excited to share with you as I continue continue on with my homeschooling journey. Most of you have started to follow me since the beginning when I started my homeschooling journey and I shared with what I was doing and why I was homeschooling. Um, but I'm just so excited for what is to come. I actually can say now that I survived my first homeschool year. I just had my evaluation done which stay tuned because I'm going to be showing you how I got everything together for my evaluation. We are in the state of Florida and we have to do an evaluation for homeschooling. I got through that. And so it's just been an amazing, amazing adventure. And summer is such an amazing time for kids, uh, but it could also be a time where they find themselves very bored. And a lot of times us parents feel very guilty for keeping them on screens all day. And I'm definitely one of those that tries to limit the screen time just because there's something about screens and kids that it just, if it's not limited, it gets kind of, I don't know, their behavior just con consistently changes when they've had too much screen. They get more aggressive and hyper and just overall crazy. And so I have bought a bunch of things that I'm gonna share with you today that I have purchased for the entire summer for the kids to have stuff to do. Now also, a lot of these things that I've bought are great for road trips or if you're going out of town. So I, me and my family, we're gonna be planning on going to a few trips this summer. And so one of them, we're gonna be going on a plane and two of them are actually road trips. So I really wanted to provide my kids with stuff to do so they're not just on, an, on a screen the entire time. And so at the same time that I wanted for them to have stuff to do, I wanted it to also be educational. So I invested in a bunch of things that I'm gonna show you today for them to, just to take care of this whole summer craziness problem that you can't find things for them to do. And so I hope that this stuff will bless you and that you will um, want to, to hopefully give you some ideas for what to do. Now, as far as welcoming summer into our home, and our last day of school. So my kids, are, we're going to be finishing school this week, but my kids have no idea when the last day of school is actually going to be. I told them it's a surprise. I said, you're gonna wake up and all of a sudden it's going to be summer. And so I am going to be giving a lot of the stuff that I'm gonna be showing you today, I'm gonna to be giving it to them for their last day of school kind of gift basket or survival kit or whatever you wanna call it. So I'm going to be providing them with these amazing resources for them. And it's going to be awesome because they're gonna, we're gonna to go to the water park that day. We're gonna have so much fun. It's just gonna be like a fun day. My kids have both worked super hard this, this year, especially being that it was our first homeschool year, especially being that we chose to homeschool in the worst year ever, which was the year of the pandemic. And they really have been troopers and have done such an amazing job. And so they really deserve a fun and exciting celebration. So we're gonna wake up in the morning and we're gonna play great, you know, fun music and they're gonna see all of the stuff that they have for summer. And um, 
it's really going to be awesome and so so excited for it if you guys want to see a vlog of my last day of school and our celebration of summer let me know leave it in the comments below i'd be more than happy to do that um i really don't like to do too many of the vlogging because i like to just provide great resources to all of you and great ideas so that you can use them for your homeschooling journey as well so let's get to the good stuff first thing i want to share is i where I bought these things at. So I am a huge Usborne fan. And so a lot of these resources that I'm gonna share are from Usborne. I will link their website in the description box below. I also got a bunch of stuff from Target and the Target Dollar Spot. And the last place that I went to is good old tried and true Amazon. <laughs> so they're from all those places. Now, don't worry, I'm going to be linking everything that I'm that I'm going to show you below. So you guys have an idea and a little list if you want to, if you're interested in any of these things. So let's get to it. All right. So the first thing I'm going to show you is my Usborne stuff. So I bought the 1001 Bugs to Spot sticker book. And I love this because it has, um, I believe they are reusable stickers. And what is really cool is it has, you know, all of the just different types of bugs that they, that, that they, that exist in the world. And, um, they're just going to be looking for them. It's kind of like a where's Waldo type of thing. And so it gives them the list of what is the items that, or what are the animals that they're going to find here, the insects, and they're just going to spot them. And it also has these amazing, um, sticker books. So they put the stickers where they see uh, the different bugs. So I thought that was cute. I also got one that's 1000 things to spot in the sea. So that's really cool from Usborne. I also got this um, first, my kids love stickers. They're just obsessed with stickers. So um, this is another one that's great. It's called the first sticker book seasons. And I love it because it's so colorful and it has a bunch of different types of butterflies and insects and flowers. We just finished, or actually we are finishing our botany unit studies. So this is going to be really awesome for them to kind of just reinforce what they learned. But they have these stickers and then in the front, they just have different scenes. And so they would put the stickers on the different scenes. I also got them these sticker dolly dressing. These are kind of like paper dolls, but in sticker form. So they get to basically dress the dolls. And I got this one that's sticker dolly dressing on vacation and also sticker dolly dressing mermaids. And I love these because this, the mermaid pictures are so beautiful and they basically are going to be dressing the mermaids however they want now obviously i have two girls so you're gonna see a lot of girly stuff um but these are really cool um sticker dolly dressing books the next thing that i got from usborne are these color pop-up monsters so they're basically pop-up books that they create and they color and they decorate and it becomes a pop-up so it has like all these different pages and they actually go through them and they make the pop-up. And so the pop-ups actually come in this little folder and then it has all of the instructions for them to do. So I think this is great, like just to, you know, kind of have around when we travel for them to do in the car or whatever. Then also I have a little stickers, horses and ponies. This is for my younger one. I have a six and a nine year old. So this is more for my six year old. Um, but it's just, again, awesome stickers. I also got the Usborne Little Stickers Bugs as well. The Little Stickers Funny Faces. I also got this 1000 Paper Spaceships Fold to Fly. So these are little paper airplanes that they can create with these sheets. And it gives them the instructions. And they're all different kinds of spaceships that they can create. Um, and their paper airplanes. So I thought this would be cool um, for them to just create them and we can like turn on a little fan or something and they could just see them fly. Um, I also got some readers. So I really want my kids to do a lot of summer reading this year. And one of the things that uh, I want my, for my now going into first grade to have are some great readers for her to read. So this is a beginner reader series 
and it is basically the old fairy tales. So it has, um, this series has The Beauty and the Beast, The Boy Who Cried Wolf, Cinderella, The Gingerbread Man, The Emperor's New Clothes, The Little Red Riding Hood, Rapunzel, Puss in Boots. So all of the like old school classic fairy tales are here and they're all in a very, very easy to read, you know, so it's just beginner reader, which I love. She's starting to become a really confident reader. So I just want to kind of encourage that and help her to keep going along with her reading. I also picked up these Read with Usborne Level 1. Again, great readers. And I love these readers because they're so colorful. Now, a lot of times people use, and I've used them before, the Bob books. And the Bob books are great. I love them. They're awesome for learning how to read, but they're not that colorful, you know? And so these I love because they're super, super colorful. They have um, words that they'll, you know, they're starting to learn some sight words in here. So I got the ant and the grasshopper, the fox and the crow. I got on the farm, the chilly little penguin, under the ground, how Bear Lost His Tail. Old MacDonald's Had a Farm. Daughter loves this song. <laughs> how the Leopard Got Its Spots. I also got her some, some nonfiction books because I wanted her to also have kind of a variety of reading. And so these are the Usborne Young Beginners. And this, this one is, again, super colorful, this series. And there's all different ones. And as you can see, very, very colorful and has some words that they can read. So they're really awesome. I got the seashore, bugs, seasons, and dinosaurs. My daughter loves dinosaurs, so that's gonna be awesome. I also got these, uh, just some more little stickers. This is Little Stickers Ballet. I got some wipe clean books. So these are the Usborne Little Wipe Clean Dot to Dots. My daughter loves doing dot to dots. She thinks they're like the best thing ever. And these are cool because they're wipe clean. They can do them over and over again. The pictures are beautiful and it really helps with counting and fine motor and all those kinds of things that they're just gonna you know, lose if we don't keep practicing over the summer. Comes with a little pen as well, the little marker as well. Um, these are just some Usborne, again, beginner readers, but this is a level two, kind of just to have a little bit higher level so we can kind of go to try to challenge ourselves a little more. This one is the hare and the tortoise. Um, what else for Usborne? So I also got color pop-up mermaids. And I also got the fold and fly 100 bugs to fold and fly. So these are, again, the paper airplanes. Um, they're really cool. I mean, these are awesome. And it has like the little fold line so you know how to make them. I also got from Usborne these little books for my older daughter, Catherine Wood Woodfine Rose's Dress of Dreams. And I also got the Sophie Takes to the Sky. So these are cute just to stick in her bag when we're traveling. And they have their little chapter books. And the chapter books, the chapters aren't really um, very very long and so it's great just to kind of read on the plane or read in the car and um they're small so they fit in a little bag um i also got from usborne some origami books so this is the easy origami with 60 pull out sheets um, and as you can see they make all different little animals and it, you, they pull it out. It also has QR links, which is pretty cool. QR link for them to, with, to get like a video or instructions to step-by-step step show them how to make it, which I think is really fun. I also got the origami, of another origami book for my other daughter. And then I also got these little fortune tellers to fold. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but when we were kids, when I was a kid, we used to make little fortune tellers and we would write inside. We would go, you know, this way, this way, this way, this way, and whichever one you picked. Well, this is amazing because, you know, we're now in 2021 and now it's not just a piece of paper. Now they have books that have these amazing, already beautifully painted fortune tellers 
that have all different little fortunes and different themes. So I just think this was so cool. And this is also from Usborn. All right, so now we're gonna go with what I got from Amazon. So from, Am oh, one more thing from Usborn. I also got the Usborn Planet Earth Mazes. My older daughter really loves, loves, loves two things. Loves learning about the world and different countries and cultures and all those things. And she loves mazes. So this is a great combination. And so what it does is it has a bunch of different mazes that she does in different parts of the world. So that was really fun for her to do. And then also for summer, I got some really, okay, so that is all that I have, I believe from Usborne. Let's see, um, oh, I have more. The 200 paper planes, so I got more paper planes to fly. I also got the Wipe Clean Ready for Reading Phonics. So my daughter really struggled with phonics this year, so I wanted to kind of just, we did really well and we advanced really well, but I just wanna keep her motivated with phonics. And so these are really great little white clean books that she can practice phonics skills on. Um, I also got this Never Bored Maze Cards. So these are little mazes that they can do. And it also comes with like some fun facts. Um, for example, like that. I don't know if you could see that. Um, but they have really fun little mazes that they could do. So I thought those were really cool. Also got from Usborn, and everything is falling because I have everything stacked up. Sorry, guys. All right, so I also got the first sticker book garden, and I also got the dollhouse, whoa, the dollhouse garden center sticker book. So this is really cool too. This is more for older kids, um, but it has just beautiful, just beautiful illustrations. And then the stickers are all in the back. So I thought this was gonna be great. Everybody, so I think that is it from Usborn. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you guys what I got from Amazon. And so I got the Professor Noggin Life in the Ocean. Now I've heard these Professor Noggin card games are super amazing. Um, I never tried one before, so I'm excited, but I got the ocean one because we are gonna be taking a beach vacation. So I'm gonna take these along with me for us to play at night. We're going to kind of an island type of thing. So at night there's not much to do. So we're gonna definitely have a lot of games to play. So this is um, just a trivia game and it is all about ocean stuff. And my children did a marine biology lesson a unit study this year. So I'm excited to see if they remember any of the stuff that they learned. I got for my older daughter who's nine, a three minute gratitude journal for kids. We're kind of getting to that age where we're, you know, asking for a lot of things and we're wanting this and we're wanting that. And so I just want to kind of use this summer for her to be remember everything that she's grateful for and all of the amazing talents that God has blessed her with. And so this is a beautiful gratitude journal for kids. And what it does is it's, it's just three minutes is what it takes them to do. And it has them do different gratitude exercises. So for the first one, it says here, you know, I'm thankful for, and she's going to list three things that she's thankful for. The person that brought me joy today was this person, how she's feeling. So it's really good because it helps them to kind of learn to tap into their feelings and express how they feel on paper, which I think is so awesome for kids. And so this is a really cute journal. And again, I will link everything in the description box below. I also got her a mindful and affirmations and activities. So as I'm sure most of you guys know that when they start getting to the nine, 10, 11 year old age, we start to kind of notice that they're a little bit more self-conscious, they're a little bit more doubting of themselves. And so I think it's a great time and a great age to really start to introduce to children the idea of positive affirmations and making sure that they're constantly speaking truth to themselves and that they get those negative thoughts out of their minds. And so this is a great way for her to do that and it's so cute. It's written, it says 50, po 50 positive mantras and prompts for kids to manage emotions, grow mindful, strong, and confident. So I thought this would be really cute for her to do every day, to just do one page or so, but it talks about here, you know, the things that I'm grateful for. So it goes through that, but it also talks about like, 
my words have power. I use them wisely. And then it gives her like some really, really famous quotes that talk about words and, and talking about, you know, yourself and the words that you speak to yourself. And so it says here, before you speak, let your words press through three gates. Is it true? Is it necessary? Or is it kind? And so this is really just such a beautiful and powerful book for girls. You can get this even up to girls that are 13 or 14. Um, it's just so cute. I also got for games, I got the Guess in 10 Animal Planet. And I heard this is a really exciting game, so I'm excited to, to do it. And I wanted to get a lot of the games that I'm getting for the summer are things that we've studied in our units. So for science in, in the, in, during the school year, because I just think it helps to reinforce what they've learned and kind of quiz them. And it's a fun game that we can do. So I've heard this is like a super fun game. So we're going to probably play some of these games also in the car, which is really fun. I also got, just going back to our science units, the Ocean Bingo. Now, the, the Lawrence King series of games, card games, are just beautiful. They're amazing. The, the illustrations are just gorgeous. And I'm really excited to play this because not only are they playing bingo, but they're also learning about all of the different species of ocean life. So this is going to be really fun for our uh, beach vacation as well. I also got from us from Amazon the Take and Play series of games. And these are great because they're magnetic, so they can take them in the car or the plane, and you don't have to worry about pieces falling and throw, you know, being thrown everywhere. So this one is the Take and Play Bingo, and up to two players can play, which is really awesome. And the Go Fish which is cool too. And these they sell um, also on, I think on at Target, not just on Amazon, but they sell them in a lot of other places. I think Michael's even has some of these as well. I also got the Eboo Create a Story. Now we have another of the Eboo series. This is one that I don't have, but the other one is about fairy tales. And these are great because they're just kind of like picture cards. If you guys can see that, they're picture cards. And basically you pull out a picture and you use the picture to tell a story. And the stories get super crazy after you keep picking the cards because they're, some of them don't relate to each other. So it really creates a lot of imagination. And I love doing these in the car because you know when you're trying to pass time and you're driving and driving and driving, you guys can talk. And it's really great for expressing themselves, especially if you have a child that doesn't like to speak too much or is kind of shy. This is a great way to help them to kind of develop those sentences and help them speak more. So I really, really love the eBoo series. I also got the Seek and Find sticker from sticker book, sticker pads from Melissa and Doug. This comes with three of them. It comes with animals and I believe the um, Seek and Find around town. And it has another one in between, which I don't know, but these are really cute because you just, it's kind of like a Where's Waldo and then you put the stickers on them. So it's really cool just for them to, you know, pass the time if they're on a plane or whatnot. I also got the I Found It hidden card picture game. I figured this would be a fun game for them, my two kids to play in the back while we're kind of maybe listening to a podcast in the front of the car while we're driving. And this is a, like a hidden picture card game. If you could see it, it is from Disney. And so it has little hidden pictures in the cards and they're supposed to find them. So, you know, they have to be the first one to find whatever the hidden picture is. And so I thought this was a, a cute one and it's about Disney and my kids love Disney. Now for my little summer baskets, these, I just got these from the dollar store and they are little kind of little summer buckets. They also sell them at Party City and Michael's. But I just got these, I thought they were cute for, and then I'm gonna just write their names on them and put all the little things in there and whatever doesn't fit, just kind of spread them around the table. So that's gonna be for our last day of school. Now, I also got from Hobby Lobby, these little um, pumpinators. And these are super cool because it comes with the balloons. You fill this with water and you can make your own water balloon. So I thought this was really fun for just to play in the backyard or just to have like a fun balloon fight or something in the summer. So I thought these were really cute. So I got these, these are at Hobby Lobby. I also got some little grab and go bubbles. And I love these because they could just take them anywhere with them and they are just, little lots of bubbles, you know, it's just a, they can stick a little 
you know, bubble make bubble thing and make bubbles everywhere. <laughs> That's fun. Then I got them just some stuff for the beach. We are going to be going to the beach. So I found this at also at Hobby Lobby and everything that's like summer there, I think is 40% off. So that was really cool. And these are just some little rackets with balls for them to play on the beach. I also got them some really cute bathing suits and I got them some water shoes at Target. So these are really cute and they, these are all in the summer section, like the kind of the seasonal summer area. That's where they have them. I also got some really cute little bathing suits. I got matching, matching bathing suits at Target. Um, I also got them some little thermoses. We take water everywhere and the kids thermoses after washing them over and over again, they get kind of kind of wonky. So I um, got these really cute little water bottles at Target as well. And they're great because it keeps things cold. Um, I also got just some little, you know, some more water shoes, some little sandals for the, for the beach. And that's about it. <laughs> that is my summer haul for all the things that we are going to be doing. So I hope that this gave you some great ideas of stuff that you can buy for your kids so that they can not be on screens all day, but have some fun and educational activities to do, things to keep them off of the screens, all those kinds of things. So if you like this video, definitely hit the like button. You can also follow me on Instagram at firewifelawyermom911, where I share my daily life and my fun mom life and homeschool life and all those kinds of things. I'm going to be sharing next my curriculum for my family subjects and also for my morning time basket. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. With every step you find yourself down a dark road With nothing left to second guess in tomorrow And what follow